Hello, welcome to Trans by Death. My name is Morgan Fay, and this week's topic is surgeries wanted or done. And for me, that's pretty much going to be wanted. The only thing I've actually had done since transition was uh, have a mole removed from my chin. Uh, it kind of drew attention to it and made it more prominent than it was. Uh, so other than that, everything else is in the wanted category. So let's start off with SRS, GRS, whatever term it's going by uh, on this current day. Uh, and for me, that's definitely something that I want to have. Um, it's, it's pretty much the, the number one on my list. Um, and it's things that, something that I'm, I'm starting to work towards, uh, you know, being able to financially afford it. Uh, but I'm not looking at having uh, the full SRS done. I'm looking for a partial, which is pretty much uh, focusing just on the external genitalia, um, uh, labioplasty, things like that. Um, and, and not actually have a, an actual vagina put in. Um, before transition, I was attracted solely to females. After transition, my sexuality has loosened and uh, uh, I, I can consider other options, but my preference is still females. And besides that, I'm married to a wonderful woman and I don't expect that to change. Uh, I certainly hope it doesn't. So it's a matter of how much use could I get out of a full procedure versus the, the additional uh, hassle of dilation? And that's, that's the primary concern for me is I don't want to tie myself to a lifetime of dilation for something I will rarely, if ever, use. So for me, a partial SRS is pretty much what I'm, I'm aiming for, what I'm looking towards. Um, certainly if my, my circumstance was different and, and uh, SRS didn't require dilation, then I'd probably go ahead and have the full procedure. But because of the dilation issue, uh, I'm pretty much looking for a limited or a partial. Uh, now, besides that surgery, everything else depends pretty much on, well, how I develop under HRT. Uh, right now, I'm about 15 months in, and there's actually been some pretty significant changes. Um, one of the classic surgeries that most trans women uh, uh, consider is breast augmentation. Uh, for me, it, it depends on where I get to naturally under HRT. Uh, so far, um, I, I've got pretty good growth, and, and I had growth even before I transitioned, including duct growth before I transitioned because I'm, uh, I'm actually 47XXY chromosome pattern. So I did have some development actually beforehand. Uh, so if I can get to a full B, uh, and I'm already at a B, just just it's not very well developed at the moment. It's it's uh, I'll probably be happy with that. Um, I'm, I'm I lead a fairly active lifestyle, so I certainly wouldn't want uh, large breasts to hinder me. Uh, so depending on where that winds up is whether or not I'll consider it. Um, right now, it's it's looking good that I might not even have to. So I'm kind of happy for that. Uh, FFS, that's the other big, expensive uh, suite of surgery you can have. And for that, I definitely would like to have a trachea shave done. Um, it's it's kind of a, a, a pin, way to pinpoint who's trans and who's not, although in actuality, very few people actually look for it. No one really notices. And if you're doing a, a good voice work, uh, it's not even spot. You can't even spot it at that time. So. Uh, Trachea shave is, is something I do want to have, and that's pretty much more for my security. Um, besides that, it depends how my face fills out. Uh, I'm probably more inclined to go with uh, more classic cosmetic surgery, uh, uh, facial peels, uh, maybe a facelift, because uh, that I think would, would do more for me than doing any other kind of FFS. Um, I do have some brow bridge, so you know I've considered the, the brow bossing, but uh, honestly, it's just too early for me to tell right now. And since I don't have a lot of money to just throw around, it's something I've got to make sure that I'm going to get enough effect for what I have to spend for it. So FFS is kind of, what I want is, depends on, on where I wind up developing and what my budget can uh, handle. And I think that's what's going to be for most people. It's it's. If your budget can handle it, well, a lot more options go on the table, and you'll do, and you possibly will have FFS or 
uh, different kinds of uh, procedures that you wouldn't normally do otherwise because it's not it's not important. It's not uh, won't make a dramatic effect, but the small effects do add together. So uh, if you can afford it, you definitely definitely consider a lot more than if uh, your finances are a little more strained like mine. So to recap, pretty much the main thing I'm looking for is. Well, uh, I do plan on having SRS, though though a partial rather than the full procedure. And uh, everything else kind of depends on how I develop. And I want to give it another year and a half before I really start to consider what else I want to do. Um, I think that's that's being reasonable. And right now, I'm, I'm happy with the results that HRD has done for me. Uh, it's done far better than I expected. Uh, and uh, that's that's about it for uh, this week. I don't really have much more to talk about in this topic, um, other than you know if you're sitting there here and watching this, and uh, don't get hung up on surgeries. Uh, remember the the most important thing is to learn to be yourself in order to to learn to accept yourself. Um, your social role is is. It can definitely be made a little bit easier if you pass better, but passing is not passing is not the uh, the end result. It's it's a bonus. Uh, the end result is to get right with yourself. So if you're in my situation where you know surgeries, things like that, really really are outside of your financial ability at the moment, don't fret, don't freak out, don't give up. Uh, it's uh, it's can happen down the road when it needs to happen. And uh, for now, just, just concentrate on being yourself and learning to be happy with yourself. So that is uh, me, Morgan Fay, signing off for this week. I hope to see you here next week on Trans by Death.